Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie Blind. In the last episode, we got a nice little sneak peek of Freeze Easy Peak, and by sneak peek, I mean we got almost 50 notes, one Jinjo, and one Jiggy in this world. That's not really a sneak peek, that's more or less getting started. In this episode, we're going to start from right where we left off in Freeze Easy Peak, and see if we can get some good old jiggies and notes and all that good stuff in this world. So, the first thing, we did get this jiggy that was on top of this area right up here. Which is all sand and good and everything. But, there was this present that I did not pick up. And I think I mentioned in the last episode I was going to save that for this episode. Where we're actually going to be picking these up. I'm a present. Give me to someone sad. Well, that's depressing. Wouldn't you just give a gift to anybody that's not sad, I guess? I have no idea. But let's go ahead and, I guess, begin our actual exploration of Freeze Easy Peak. And not just get one jiggy like we did in the last episode. We do have these snowmen. I don't know what they're all about. But they're going to annoy the heck out of me if I'm not careful. We did learn how to maybe get rid of them using our beak thing. If we press the uh, X button, we can do this beak da dive attack thing. And the snor- the snormen- the snow the snowmen! I almost call them Snorlaxes for some reason. Can we hit these? Yeah, we can! Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. I didn't even know you can hit these buttons. They just look like big targets. So you figured that they would be able to be hit like so. Let's do it to this one. There we go! And we get a Jiggy out of his, uh... Out of his, uh... I don't know. But we're going to go right down. And that did damage. Wow. Okay, that's not good. Let's just come down here to ground level and get our Jiggy. Because we definitely earned this one, for sure. And that brings us, what, to number two? Oh, I see Mumbo's house back there. I do see it. We're going to go after that in just a second. I want to collect this present. Because that will bring another one. Burr, it's cold. Nice warm backpack for me, too. Oh boy, there's also this guy. There's also these notes up here on what looks to be a scarf, maybe? Ooh, I do see a I do see a little walrus with a jiggy! I want you! Can I have it? Yikes, a nasty fierce bear! Hey, where you going? Hey dude, I want what's inside! And you block the way, so I can't even go in okay. We'll have to come back to that. Phew, it's safe for Waza to come out now. Fantastic. Now, is there? Is it behind? Yeah, sure enough. We get an extra life. We get a gold feather. What else do we get? A thing. Or another gold feather. Is there anything behind these? They could easily put like a secret entrance behind these uh, crystal figures or something. But if that's all there is back here, then I guess that's all I'm going to get. And this guy is going to keep going inside his hole because he doesn't like us too much since we're a bear. So, that's unfortunate. Also, this is bad water. That's not good at all. But it's okay, because we're safe anyways. Now, I want to go up to that scarf again and see if I can get some more notes. Uh, yeah, it's right over here. So, let's go ahead and do that. It seems that for every yellow path, there's a note. And for every red spot, there's a red feather. Pretty clever, if you ask me. But let's just continue on climbing the good climb. And see what happens. Because I'm not exactly sure. I'm guessing there's a lot of notes up here. If I can stop missing them, that'd be pretty sweet. And, alright, that's just an incline. Oh, I did miss a note. Dude, I love the Talon Trial. You can just climb up any slope. Not those really deep slopes, but... A pretty good slope nonetheless. I mean, right now we're, what, at 70? Almost? Yeah, 70 notes. Which is a lot. There's also a Jinjo up there. I want it. And I wonder if I can reach that from here. It's gonna be pretty darn close. Yep, sure enough. And there we go. There's our second Jinjo. With a nice gold feather at the very end here. Which I will definitely pick up. And this one, well, I mean, they don't really matter now because, well, we have the right amount of uh, gold feathers. But what is over here? We can climb up here, but what's this for? Oh, God. Oh, there's a Mumbo's token. Nice. And, oh, hello. Oof. That's better. Hey, you found my sled. I'll go and practice for the big race now. See you, buddy. Hello. 
All right. I guess we'll get our Jiggy out of that one. Cool. So we got number three going on. But we do we did pick up some presents. So I think we were told that we can give those to those kids that were sad, I suppose. So let's go ahead and see what they got to say. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to be very happy to see some presents. Like this big one right here. Wow. Thank you, Brown Bear. There's another one. Cool, another present. We need just one more. Aw, oh, man. There were three of them. There's three kids, so I need to find three presents. Well, that's kind of sad. Well, I guess what better thing we gotta do than to go look for the third present. And I assume we're gonna get a Jiggy out of it, because it would only make sense to get a Jiggy out of this. So, I mean, why not? These snowmen. Also, there's this. Hello again, buddy. I'm waiting for someone to race me. We'll race you, numbutt. Sorry, you're too big for my sled. I can only race someone smaller. Okay. Oh, oh, wow. Nice aim you got there, you stupid snowman. And I did not... I mean, that backflip would have saved me from the attack from the stupid snowman. So I guess I'm going to have to avoid him for now, which is kind of unfortunate. But I want to race him. I think that would be kind of cool. Uh, but... Oh, there's a mumbo token in the water there. I do want that, but of course, it's in the cold water, and I don't want to go out of my way to risk life to get that. But, as I do recall, there's still some stuff missing on the snowman here that I want to pick up for sure. Like, going up that, uh, spring, um, pad that takes you to a nice little jump. I do want to see what that's all about, because I think that might lead to some very interesting things if I can get over there fast enough. And with our ability to run fast, it definitely is feasible for sure. Alright, so here we are. We made it to this pad. Let's climb, I suppose. And there's another pad, but what is over here? Oh! There's a good old Jiggy in the waiting for us in here in this little, uh, almost like a smoke pipe? Maybe? I don't know. But being up here is really scary, actually. Oh, this is the final present! Cool! Well, there we go. Take me to the kids. I'm the last one. Yes, you are. And I guess we're gonna climb. Oh, there's still more stuff on top of the snowman. Holy crumbolies. Alright, let's, let's see what's on top of his hat. There's some notes up here, which is pretty cool. But there's also this guy. Does killing him do anything important? Or you could just do damage. I, I need to... Dude! There we go. No! Oh, I was not going to risk my life for that one, let me tell you. Actually, you know what? This doesn't make me slip when I grab these notes, so I will take advantage of the fact that I can use this to grab notes. And we're getting pretty close to that 100. I almost fell, actually, after I said it wasn't going to make sure I fall. Okay, now where is a good place to... Okay, that's a pretty good place to fall, I guess. With two health, I'm not looking pretty uh, confident in my health right now. Is there anything around this hat besides eggs? Because it looks to be just eggs. Is that all that's here? Is there nothing else to the snowman? Ooh, you know what? I kind of want to fly. But at the same time, well, you know what? I guess flying here wouldn't be such a bad idea. I think we've collected everything we can on this snowman. So let's just... I want to dive down. I want to dive down. Just bring us down to Earth, just like that. That is pretty cool and nicely convenient enough to allow us to do that. Now, I need to go back to the beginning. Be wow, that snowman was close to hitting me. So hard. Actually, what is over here? Because there's Mumbo. And... Oh! What a snipe! Are you kidding me? I need help like it's no one's business right now. Jeez, and if I die, that's not a good thing at all. So I'm going to need to get some health. These notes first will be the thing I look forward to getting first. Are these snowmen even gonna... Are they good for killing at all? Am I supposed to kill them? Or are they just to annoy me in my tracks as I move forward? There's also something up here! Oh, you almost killed me. Dude, he's gonna kill me right now. Like, he is so close. Let me see if I can wait till he throws something and then get up here. Oh, it's just another flight pad. Well, we are getting the heck out of here. Can't reach me up here. 
Okay, so let's get over here because there are presents to be given to some kids who I think could benefit from them more than anybody. Yeah, and since we are at the very top, let's just go ahead and make our rounds and give the final present to the kids because if I died, we would have to get all the presents again, I imagine. And there we go. Yippee! Now we've all got presents. Here's something for you. And of course, out of that, we get a good old Jiggy. I mean, come on now. That's a great present, if I do say so myself. That brings us to what, number five? Cool. So all the kids are nice and content now. Nothing else to get. Everything good. Sure enough. Alright, so I guess we're gonna get the heck out of here. Is there anything here? No? Alright. Let's mosey on out. Since we did that, I think the next order of business is to try to kill these snowmen. Because I don't know if they actually do anything, but if I can get rid of them, that would be in my best interest, considering they're really annoying. And I can get some health right here, too, which is very exciting. So let's go ahead and kill some snowmen. Also, we have a beehive here I can go and use, of course, to give me some health. Because health is definitely welcome in my book. And of course, the aqua, the aqua, the awkward camera transitions are the best. All right, let's begin our onslaught. If I can learn to not miss, that would be perfect. Now, my aim is going to be the worst for these guys, so let's go ahead and see how we do. There's one. Pretty cool. There's a mumbo token under him. I want it. I want it so bad. No. Let's try again. No. Let's try again. No. Alright, this isn't work. Oh my god, I went so far up, and I missed, and I slid right off. Wow, this is going to be the best. Okay, well, as I saw, there was a mumbo token, and of course, these snowmen do give you health, so that is in my best interest. I know I say that a lot, but it is true. It is in my interest to get everything here, because it's pretty nice. Also, these red feathers are nice to get, considering I can use the refill. Now, I wonder, I really want to know if these snowmen actually do anything upon killing them. And I literally suck at trying to aim at these stupid guys. What's the best plot point? Not the plot point, but what is the best point of reference when you're aiming at a target with the beak bomb? I have no idea. But I do need these feathers. I feel like I'm going to use pretty much all of them to kill these guys. I don't even know if that's even necessary. Because it very well may not be. But we're going to go for it. Because that's what I say. So let's do this. There we go. Oh, there's a grunty switch. Dude. I want that. Nice ground pound there. Ooh, and there's a jiggy. Oh, there is a jiggy right there outside of grunty's lair. Or outside of free Easy peak. You know what that means. We're going to... Oh my god. We're going to take damage because we can't get out of this stupid water. Because I suck. Let's be honest here. I just suck. That's all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Now. So it is worth killing the snowmen because there are things to get upon doing so. So I guess we'll have to go around and kill them all. See what they drop. Maybe one of them will drop a jiggy for us. Who knows. Hey pal. You ready to die? Oh, there's another mumbo token. I'll go ahead and collect that later. Not terribly important right now. But it is very necessary kill you for a honeycomb piece I'll take that right now because it's a honeycomb piece cool stuff now again I will go back and get that mumbo token because why not and there's also health to be obtained from said mumbo token now is there any more snowmen I can go ahead and kill for the sake of the killings I'm sure there are so let's go ahead and jump right back on the flying pad and see if we can kill a snowman there was one outside of freezy the peak I don't know if that does anything, but we're just going to have to fly around and just make sure we aren't missing any notes or uh, any snowmen because I don't want to miss any because that would really be bad. And if we do, well, I'm going to have to find them and make sure they all go. Oh, this one right over here in a pretty sweet spot, too. He looks like he could be holding some kind of treasure. And was he? No, he was just... Okay, it literally does do something. Holy crap. 
Okay, killing all the snowmen does prove to give you a prize. So I'm glad I checked to make sure that it did so. Very nice. Now if I can get up here, which is going to take a lot of feathers, then that'll be great. I love how you can just go straight up. That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't, I really don't think I need to waste all these feathers to get up here. But you know what? For the sake of our Jiggy, I will take it to the bank. There we go. What is that? Jiggy number six? Yeah, sure enough. We have three more to go. And I can imagine one of them is going to be from the transformation. The other one's going to be from that race. And the other one is going to be from the Jinjos. Which is a pretty sweet thing, if you ask me. So, guys, on top of this snowman's head, I think we are going to end the episode off here. Next time on Banjo-Kazooie Blind, we're going to be hopefully getting the rest of the Jiggies and the rest of the notes and fully completing Freeze Easy Peak, which will be very nice considering it is very cold here and I want out of here as fast as humanly possible. So with that being said, everybody, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time for some more Banjo-Kazooie Blind. See you guys then!